The Waco Historic Landmark Preservation Commission approved of a recommendation this evening to create a historical designated space on site at Paul Quinn College. William Decker Johnson Hall will be the first locally designated landmark on the school's original campus in Waco. Fox 44's Earl Stoudemire joins us from the newsroom to explain how this will work and how it's been a long time in the making. Earl. Adam, it's been a long journey for Paul Quinn staff saying it's been a goal for 30 years to have this building dedicated as a historic landmark with recent changes around Waco. They say they're happy to start the process of preserving black history. It's a very special moment um, for all who have been involved in this process, particularly for the Paul Quinn graduates, um, those that still live in the Waco community and those outside of the Waco community. William Decker Johnson Hall is a three-story building standing for a hundred years as a dining hall, dormitory, library, and classroom space for black scholars in Waco. Waco Historic Landmark Commissioner Jeanette Bell says this project has been long needed. You know, when you lose your history, it's like losing a part of you. And now it's like we have a rebirth. William Pittman, the first registered African American architect in the state of Texas, built this building in 1922 and is the last of his remaining buildings to not be a designated landmark. The goal is to restore this building to be a community asset to represent East Waco and support the entire city. For educational purposes, as a, possibly a, a satellite location for um, a historically black college. Um, uh, uh, for training and job skills. Another idea is for the building to serve as a cultural center. Work is also underway with the National Registry to be a national landmark under education and the African American experience. The present and, gener and, and future generations need to know that history. You have to know where you come from in order to know where you're going. Paul Quinn has launched a grassroots campaign for the community to donate funds for the restoration project, which is linked to our website. The next steps for this project is to go to the city's planning commission, which is designated for later this month. Live in the newsroom, Earl Stoudemire, Fox 44 News.